case. Um, first thing we're going to find out is our. So I'm going to close this. All right. Um, don't want that now. So make sure you got cheat engine and all that. So I'm um, just going to load this up. Cheat engine. And now we're going to find out our addresses. Now this isn't an exact science of sorts. This is a bit difficult uh, if you, when you're dealing with multiple addresses and you haven't done this before. Just if you if you um, struggle, just feel free to um, go back and just review what I said. Um, just make sure you got it in 1080 or 720 so you can see the text well and stuff. But I'm sure you've seen that on the intro anyway. So first thing you want to click is this little box here. I'll try and be fairly quick but not too quick so that you can read me properly. So you want to select here process and you want to choose acclient.exe. So select that. And you want to leave these things as they are. So we want to go for four bytes, which is an integer. And first thing we want to do is we want to search for we're looking for our ammo first thing, so we're gonna do our ammo hack. Also something I recommend you do is open up notepad. Open up a notepad version. Um, just open it so we can write some notes down on them because we're going to need to do that. Just going to do that. Move this up a little bit as well. Uh, I apologize for any freezing we get halfway through because um, I have a lot of things uh, pushing fraps and you know what it's like. Um, so first thing I want to look for is 20. 20 is our ammo. All right. What do we do now? Now we we go back. Uh, put our assault rifle on uh, 17. Now make sure you go on assault rifle on because assault, assault rifle facilitates things. So we've taken three shots and we changed that to 17. So we're going to do our next scan and we've got two values. Now most of the time it's the top value. And Now to make sure of this I'm going to put a high value here. So I'll put that and look what I got. I got uh, 100,000 bullets. Right, and as they go down and so on. So that's fine. It's just going to reduce it a little bit so it doesn't go over everything. So just put a thousand in there. That's fine. Actually, 10,000 is good. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's about it. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, find out the static address of this. Now, as you see here, this is a black address. Now, that means that once we restart the game, this address will change, without a doubt. So, um, so we can code our program properly so we don't have to code in the game every time, do this, change, and go through a bunch of BS every time. What we do here is we find the static va address which is the one that never changes and we just use that in the game and we're fine we use a small function well you see we use a small function that basically pinpoints the address we want and you'll see it'll be quite simple as I explain it so first thing you want to do is you want to right click this and say find out what accesses this address so yes we want to touch the debugger now we've got some things going on we don't care about those things and then you want to go back in game and you want to shoot a couple of times so shoot as you and you'll see that every time you shoot, um, it'll go up by one. So we go here. Um, we select one of these. Uh, I think it's a deck one. Now, every now and then we might get something wrong. We just have to go back and fix it. No problem. We just got to make sure we write our notes down. So, as you can see, a number here, for example, ESI plus 14. 14 is our offset, right? So, write offset. Um, on our example it's not because it's the red one so our offset equals zero there's nothing being added there so it equals zero and as it says here the value of the pointer needed to find this address is probably this and we write this down now do not write what I'm writing write make sure you write your own results that's why you need to be doing this uh, DE8 in the end they should be the same but just make sure you do your own results so 01DE8EA4 so we're likely to make mistakes at some point, it doesn't matter, we'll just keep going. So we've stored those results, now what we do here is we tick the hex box, don't close those in case we got the wrong result, we put paste our value in there, we do a new scan, and we got a result. Now, after we got our first result, we go add address manually, and we click on this checkbox here, and we put this address right here, and we go 01DE, I like doing this in capitals because it makes it, I don't know, feel more properly done I guess. So 01DE15E4, so that's that, and our offset was of 0, so now it says this offset you chose brings it to this address. Now just press OK, and now if it pointed to this exact address it means you're going in the right place. All right. So if it points to any other address you chose the wrong one. So we close these, we got the R address, now we don't care. So what we do now is we right click this one the pointer and we say find out what accesses this address find out just click yes we're okay with that and once again we go here and we take a couple of shots now if nothing's coming up here it's because you chose the wrong val address so go back 
and uh, redo that last part. So we got a few things now. We got it could be either of these two. The last one said decrement. Now it says move, so I can't be sure what it is. So I'm gonna try the bottom one. It doesn't really matter. So I've done this before. Um, I know certain things uh, that will hint towards the right answer, but in this case they're both plus 14. So our, on our second one, our offset is a 14. Okay, so. Is this plus 14? That means it's our offset. And now, once again, we write that address down 01DE8EA4. So we don't close this once again, we just leave that, we put that, do a new scan, and we get something. Now, we double click on this and we try to add that address. So click Add Pointer. And now, um, what we're doing here is we're going 01, so 01DE15E4. And then our offset was a 14, and we do that. We OK that. And we, I believe, we got a wrong address. Let's have a look at that. Yes, that's our wrong address. So that's not the one we want. So let's just leave that and go back here and double click that one. Now, this should be our right address. Um, let's just put that down there. Let's all write this one. So 0, zero 1. The offset is the same 0, 1, D, E. 15D0. So we made a mistake there. This is all about trial and error, pretty much. So if it's not that one, it's kind of got to be this one. Um, so it's not pointing to the right one. I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong there. Mm -hmm. So the offset is 14. There's no doubt about that. This first offset was 0. Um, 004 C2244. Now, if it's not pointing to the right address, we've got a problem. It means we either made a mistake on the first offset, uh, on the for first address, or I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's that first mistake. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back here, copy this first one, uh, remove one of these. Right? This will happen all the time. It's nothing too bad. So. Sorry, sorry. That was my bad. So just copy this value. Um, a4. I'm just trying to think if I put the right value in or not. So just scrap that. Let's start this again from scratch. Let's find out what we did wrong. So let's replace this value with that. So 0, 01, this one here, DE. Then we're going to go 15E4. Uh, now, uh, I apologize for that, but I'm not too good at this yet. I have done it quite a lot, but somehow static pointers still get me, or dynamic ones. Um, should I say so uh, we've got that and we've um, we store that first address now we gotta just put it here and now it should point again to the right address there you go so we're back to the first stage again but we'll fix this so just get rid of that get rid of that and let's do that part again now it's probably the other one now find out what access is yes just okay that I'm gonna take my shirt off because it gets hot when I talk to you sexy boys and girls all 15% of you <laughs> that go on my videos. So let's take a couple of shots. There you go. <coughs> um, so the last one, I think we checked the bottom one, so let's check the top one. That was my fault for trying to be clever. Um, so 01DE15 DE. Oh, no, I believe that's correct. Uh, let's try and find for something with that. Hope this isn't confusing you. Yes, there you go. So this is what we're looking for, pretty much. I know this because I remember last time I got a ton of results, and this is it. Now we don't know for a fact which one is what. All right. So we scanned this result here that we got from there, and now we're going to find out which uh, thing it is. So we're going to start from the bottom and we'll go make our way up. Now, so we'll just go here, double-click that, add pointer. All right. And we know the offset is 14, no doubt about that. So do the 14 first, and now we're going to write each one of these, see if it points to the right one. So 0C FF4908. Make sure you write your own. Don't write mine. Now, that pointed to the right address, which is a good thing, but it doesn't guarantee us we did it to the right place. Hopefully it has. It does. But now what we'll do is we'll say, find out what access is this pointer. Nothing. 